Australia tightened their grip on the first test as Mitchell Johnson and Mitchell Starks pace tour into New Zealand on day two in Brisbane. Usman Kawaja top scored with 174 as the hosts declared on 556 to 4, before the Kiwis faltered from 102 to 1 to 157 to 5. Johnson removed experienced duo Brandon McCollum and Ross Taylor cheaply to leave the visitors trailing by 399. Earlier, New Zealand pace bowler Tim Southee was forced off the field with an irritated disc in his back. With the tourists still needing 200 more to avoid the follow-on, they face a mammoth task to avoid heading to Perth trailing in the three-test series, but their hopes of staving off defeat may well rest with Kane Williamson. While the tourists' middle order crumbled around him, the 25-year-old withstood the pace barrage to finish the day in good touch on 55 not out. With patchy cloud cover appearing over the Gabba midway through the final session, left arm is stark, and Johnson started to find movement through the air and off the Brisbane pitch. Both Captain McCollum and Taylor went edging balls angled away from off stump before Jimmy Nisham was bowled by a precise Yorker from Stark. By contrast, Australia's middle order held steady with skipper Steve Smith, 48, and Adam Vogues, 83 not out, lending useful support to Kawaja. The declaration came immediately after Kawaja, who began on 102 after making his maiden test century on the opening day, was caught off Williamson's part-time off-spin. Southie's injury has forced New Zealand to call up left-arm seamer Neil Wagner as precautionary cover for next week's second test.